Hey guys, what's up? Ryan Necker here. I didn't really get a chance to vlog this morning. Uh, I didn't get a chance to record most of today. I've just been busy. Uh, I just got done shooting a main video. You want to see? There's the camera, and I was over there. <laughs> Exciting, right? Well, all in all, it went well. Um, but the people next door to us, with their no sex having, poor sex having ass, more like it, who I had to listen to make squeaky fucking bed sounds while they had shitty sex for an hour and a half. An hour. I lost track of time. But I had to listen to that one night. I didn't pound on the walls. I didn't do shit. But no, as soon as I start recording this main video, and I'm talking in a voice like, Oh, hey guys, what's up? Ryan Necker here. I'm talking in an indoor voice of what you would hear on a phone if I was on a phone call. Mm, nope, they had to pound on the wall for most of the time. There's no way in hell. No way. I am being too loud. I mean, what, am I supposed to fucking whisper? I know these walls aren't super fucking thick. But that doesn't mean that my indoor voice is too loud. Now when you watch the video, I will have edited, edited the sound so it is louder. But I don't get why the fuck they had to be pounding on the goddamn wall when all I'm doing is using my indoor voice. And I got a video project I got to do for class. And if I'm recording that project and I hear pounding on the walls, I will be knocking on doors if I have to record it here. Because I don't want your fucking shitty ass wall pounding to make me have to redo so much fucking work. I listen to your poor fucking sex skills. You can listen to me talk to a camera. Sorry, had to get that out. As far as class went today, we cooked vegetables. Uh, we blanched them. And then we sauteed them up. And they were really fucking good. I was surprised. But they were showing us basically that we could prep all of our vegetables by blanching them. And then when it's time to serve them, we could toss them and saute them for two, two, three minutes. And then bam, they're done and ready to go out. Which would save us time in the business. I get that. Uh, and safe serve, we went over another chapter worth of shit. And hospitality, we finished a chapter worth of shit and started another chapter. So not much has really went on. Um, the reason I didn't record this morning is because I woke up to a message from my mom saying basically that my car is going to be in the shop for another week and that these people, that every time I take my car in, something is broke as soon as I get it back. Last time... Well, the first time, not the last time, but the first time, I got my car back, and it was cold out, so I tried to turn my heater on before I leave the parking lot, and my heater's broke. We didn't used to spend the money to get that fixed yet, but that was a, probably a good five, six hundred dollars $600, probably a 1000 though, in our luck. So, we got the car completely looked at, complete inspection, and somehow... After spending about 2500 3000 to get my car completely tuned up, checked, fixed, new tires, new brakes, new everything, two weeks later, my oil is leaking. Like, didn't you inspect the whole car? But it took us about two weeks to notice the oil is leaking. So we took it back, and I've been without a car this week. And come to find out, the gasket is broke. That's going to be another thousand dollars. And I swear to God, when this is all over, if something is wrong with my car again, I am going to go into that place and yell at someone. Because that's three thousand five hundred, according to my mom, that we've had to spend on this car. I mean, it should, there should be nothing wrong with it. They did an oil change. So don't you think they would have noticed that the fucking oil was leaking out of the car onto their fucking floor? Get 
guess not. Let's not pay attention to that. So I sent my mom a list of stuff that works in my car. The radio works, the turn signals, the headlights. There's no crack on the windshield. So I told her to give them the list and pick which one they want to fuck up this time. So we'll know in advance. Also, with recording this vlog, in the voice that I'm recording it, they have started pounding on the goddamn wall again. I'm going to start throwing shit at that wall here in a few minutes. <sighs> Fucking annoying. Like, literally, I've had to listen to your bullshit over there. Let me talk in my inside voice. Let me record my videos. Uh, other than that, I'm getting along with my classmates. I'm enjoying class. I've made a lot of friends. Things are starting to look really nice here, and I'm glad I made this decision. So, um, as far as this vlog goes, this is going to be it. Um, I got a video to edit, and I got homework to do. So, not much excitement. I might toss in a few clips at the end of this of just like food that I cooked tonight for dinner and maybe a preview of my video I don't know what video did I do I hate the internet what episode fuck if I know but yeah I'm gonna get off here now before they start pounding on the wall again so I am Ryan Necra check back in tomorrow for another vlog and then as always check in every day for a vlog the weekend is all wrapped up on a Sunday vlog Check in Friday for a main video and check in Tuesday for the Celebrity and Entertainment News video dump. If you want to see those before they get dumped on YouTube, follow me on Facebook where I post them daily. But that's all I got for you, so I'll check in tomorrow.